Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition Arctic Expanse DLC. <sighs> All in one breath. With Charles Darwin, should have added that really. Probably would have, you know, passed out at that point. But even so, those extra syllables, they mean oh so much. Charles Darwin, we're going cold. We're going cold this time out. We're going to the old Arctic on our fourth expedition out of a possible six. I always like to say possible as well, rather than six, because there's no guarantee. There was a point in that last episode where I was looking at that crab into his beady little eyes and I was generally worried about how we were going to get out of there. And the gorillas, we don't even talk about the gorillas. One gorilla with no dynamite, you've got a chance. Two gorillas with no dynamite and such a lack of more aggressive dice. You might as well kiss you, but goodbye right there and then. So I think we made the sensible decision to flee. And as it stands, we only took a Santee hit, which we had plenty of ways of recouping anyway. So it was all good in the hood overall. Even so, the old Arctic awaits, you know. Let's go. After rising at the break of door, I made haste and arrived at the docks. The crew had preparations left to do, so I saw if there was anything I could do. The woman searching for her missing husband arrived at the docks. She was overjoyed as she laid eyes upon her beloved. They embraced passionately, crying tears of relief. I could not help but think that Wiley Blake acted peculiar, grabbing and holding his wife a bit too hard, almost strangling her in the process. I sincerely hoped for the best for them. Her name? Still, none the wiser. And he's disappeared. He's gone. He's, he's off. He's back on dry land, civilization. He's off to the pub. Can't blame him. Can't blame the guy. It's been a while. It's been a while. We received new funds. Ooh, and as a thank you for our endeavour... A scientist approached me this morning with a request. He told me about a mysterious box that was buried somewhere in the area we were travelling to. He promised to reward us generously if we brought it back to him. Well, let's do it then. Why not? He nodded gratefully and wished us well. Before his departure, he warned us not to open the box. Hmm. As I was one of the most famous explorers, my fame had spread amongst adventurous spirits. Many new recruits showed up, enterprising enough to sign up to my cause. Who did I want to recruit? No one. I'm very happy with who we've got. I just want to be famous. Don't we all, Kenneth? Don't we all? Just in time, the vessel was primed to leave the harbour. Well, let's buy some stuffs. We... Mm, we're probably good to buy all the chocolate. We need a shovel. You'd have thought, if you're going out there, risking you know life and limb for this supposed scientist he hasn't shown me any documentations i haven't seen a national science club certificate or anything you'd thought he'd at least give me a shovel to to dig up his buried artifact which he doesn't want me to look at i just find that a bit unfair that's all i'm saying we'll say no more uh we shall also have the snowshoes which probably won't get us too far but even so we shall do what we can and we're going to buy as many dynamites as we can I think that's good. We could have another torch. Do we want another torch? Or do we take some more rope? Rope is probably best. Yep, yeah, that's 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 about it. That's about as best as we can do here. Deal, deal. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that the ship was prepared to set sail. Let's go then. Expedition 4. Oh, whimsy. It's always the whimsy. It's always the whimsy. Oh, overburdened already. Fantastic. Fantastic. After barely surviving one of the most monstrous thunderstorms I've ever witnessed on a ship, we finally reached the shore of our expedition area. The foreign landscape beckoned us to explore. So, what do we want to get rid of? What do we want to get rid of? Where is this? Don't know yet. Let's begin the expedition. Uh, it's only the one. Uh, so it's on the side. Oh. That's handy. Uh, well, I've got a feeling, looking at the map, it's going to be over here somewhere. So, with that in mind... What do we need to keep and what can we scrap? We could drop over birdie owned. Uh, we can let's return to the ship and we'll put the green mushroom into storage. 
think that's our best bet. And uh, well, we'll slowly make our way down to the uh, ice station. Come on. It might throw a few more things out our way. Oh, great. Superb. Uh, hmm. Quick check of the map. Nope. Uh, right, so... I need to get rid of some stuff. Let's, um, let's go to the ice station. We'll come back here. Actually, it's very broken up. That looks like a dead region completely. That might be useful. That might be useful. Yeah, let's visit the station. We had to trade some stuff here. Uh, the man greeted me at station's entrance had wild eyes and odd scars around his neck when he greeted me. For some queer reason, he asked me about tickets. He gave me an angry look when he noticed me staring at the large ice block in one of the rooms. I had a bad feeling about this. Right, so let's trade. Let's trade. Uh, you can have the, uh, the, the teeth and the hyena pelts. And we will take seven tickets. Uh, yeah, uh, dynamite. I suppose we could have stuff which stacks. We've got no health kits, but it would take up an extra slot. They have no maps to sell, there's no point buying that. Mm, dynamite. You see, the um. The food cans might be a good call as well. Let's let's stack up the dynamite. And then we can always trade the dynamite back for more tickets or other stuffs. I think that's the best bet. Oh, oh no, my bad. Uh, then we shall use the dog sled straight away, I think. Do I? Yeah, let's do that straight away. I thought he was joking at first, but the man once again started to mutter about tickets. Apparently these tickets would buy me passage with his sled. The ticket he showed me felt strange to touch. What was it made of? He offered me to travel to the following locations. Well, it's only the one, so let's uh, scarf her. So, question mark there. Really? You're not going to show me anything, are you? It's going to be dead all the way there. Just blackness. Oh, 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 oh. Polar bear. Well, okay, okay, fine. A lone figure, excuse me, hipsicuts. A lone figure greeted me at the entrance to the station. For some queer reason, he asked me about tickets. Right, uh, let's <laughs> trade. So you pretty much are about the same. So I'm quite happy to leave that. Uh, cancel out and leave them right let's have another look at this map so it has a sharp a sharp uh, cavey thing at the bottom it's fairly open water this is rubbish let's get up on here i want to see what's going on uh, okay well let's do a, a loopsy loo i guess We came across a stone formation that was obviously man-made. There were inscriptions etched into each rock. Perhaps they formed a manner of a map. Uh, I would like to see... Are they happy with us still? They are. I would like to see... Settlements. Just the one. Okay, that's fine. I dig it. Uh, let's drink the whiskey. Please don't get alcohol icks off this. Hey, right, okay. So... On to the next question mark. Avoiding the polar bear, I'd like to add. Oh, there's our first shrine. Yeah, let's do it now. Why not? I finally came through a haze of snow and saw a dark structure before us. Dread filled me when we ascended the steps. When the large portal opened, a gust of wind rushed towards me. It smelled salty, like the ocean, but old, like its most hidden, most ancient depths. The surface about the structure emitted considerable warmth. It was still possible to walk there, but the potential source of this heat was disconcerting. Below I could sense something 
teeming, and I immediately closed my mind off to the possibility. I felt it scratch behind my eyeballs, trying to get in desperately. Placed on the altar was a small worm-like creature, writhing, feeling around with its tendrils. I pushed it aside brusquely. <laughs> right, so let's uh, take it all. I would not leave empty-handed. The treasure was to be mine. The moment we attained the treasure, the earth began to shift. We fled as fast as we could as the shrine collapsed before our very eyes and a volcano began to rise, spitting fire and oozing lava. Oh, that's far away. That's fine. So we are overburdened. Are we completely writing this off? Oh. Um. It could be this one here. Uh, in order to find out, though, we're going to have to drop some stuff. Let's... Well, let's upgrade Marla. Why not? Uh, let's um, let's eat some chocolate. Let's get back to the station. Fifty-five. Right. So let's get into the storage room, and we are going to drop off. We've got three spaces. The jewels. We're going to need the moonstone. We'll, mm. Yes, screw it. We'll drop off the crystal ball and the gold. That'll do. And we shall... How many tickets do we have? Six. We'll rest as well. I enjoyed his hospitality. The power man kept watching me in my sleep. How would you know? I dreamt of strange objects crashing from the sky. I did not like this station one bit. Uh, we'll do it once more. The warm beds were a welcome reprieve from the cold. When I went to sleep, he barred the door. I dreamt that the sleeper awakened from the ice sarcophagus, but otherwise it was an uneventful night. In the morning, the power man was gone. To be replaced by John C. Right, 63, 45. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm pretty sure the polar bear can't get us. I'm putting my faith in this. I'm, I, I think this is the spot. I think this is the one. This is it. Brace for impact. After digging for many hours, our excavation proved to be of worth. Ooh. Thank you. Right, so onwards and upwards. We could do with... Uh, going back to the station. So... Oh, yes, please. 38's still not enough. 48's not enough. Well, it is if we stand on top. Oh, look at that. So after the volcanoes erupted and melted all the ice it's turning into a nice green area lovely right so we need to trade now and we need to trade the dynamite for the food so we get two per one i'm down with that oh do you want the scientist map no okay <laughs> uh, i'm i'm fine with that that is an okay deal as far as i'm concerned and uh, we'll leave we'll eat as many of those as we can and on to the next oh a shipwreck today we made a fantastic discovery we found the remains of an old boat it remained a mystery to me how it could have ended up in this place. It seemed to be stranded here for a long time. I tried to decipher the name, but time had eaten away its identity. This area was marked heavily by animal tracks. Staying here would surely attract some unwanted guests. Let's have a look. My instinct said we would find something of value here. I instructed the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. Well, you're going nuts. Look at you. Temple pendulum. Oh, another treasure map. Well, yeah, take it all. Why not? As we left, we noticed that our presence had attractive, attracted inquisitive wildlife. Polar bear. Polar bear. Right. Right, 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 right. Close to a blessing temple. Uh, map? Uh, okay. 
got a little happy bit to it. Like a little walk through. I think it's going to be this one here. But that's quite a way away. We'll continue northwards, see what happens, I guess, is the best way to play this. Uh, with that being said, more food cans, if you would, please. And, uh, well, up we go, I guess. Uh, it's nice to know you can avoid the, uh, the wildlife by staying up high. That does take away a little bit of the danger. Oh, I wonder where the pyramid is. All right, on to the next. Um, two of those. Round to the top. Hopefully we'll have some mushrooms in. That'd be pretty cool. Explore the cave. We approached a cave. It's opening led, seemed to lead deep into the mountain. We required a torch to move inside. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We were intrigued to discover that this was just the entrance to a subterranean route. We explored vast caverns and twisted corridor. The hint of sunlight in the distance gave us a hope. Where you put us? Ah! Right where we needed to be. There's a village close. Are they okay with us? Mm. Could do with resting there. Uh, let's uh, do more food cans. 28. I could do with trading some stuff in, I feel. We carefully approached a mysterious native village. What? We returned to the village. The villagers had been awaiting us. They already seemed aware of us. They were cautious, but politely offered their help, perhaps to see us leave sooner. Upon our arrival, Malasha began to converse with the natives. Did I just do that right? Did It seemed to me that there was only one button. I pressed said button and it took me back to the main map. Don't know. Don't know. Uh, let's trade. Ooh, they got Muktuk. I do like me book took. Oh, so do they. Um, right, you can have the scientist map. No? Um, how about the temple pendulum? I find them silly. A little. A little. Uh, what else do we want off you, really? We'll be removed after the expedition. So I suppose it, it doesn't pay to be too silly with that. So we'll go for the jewels and the... And the uh, Mushroom, and we'll just reduce those a little. Four. Four's the least I'm willing to set off with that. Uh, we need one more torch to get back through the cave to get back to where we were. Torch, um, rope hasn't been used too much, so a couple of those off. We've got plenty of dynamite. Can I have my rope back? I can. That'll do. And we'll rest as well. As darkness fell, the natives lit a campfire and invited us to sit with them. This night, the villagers held a ritual ceremony. They offered us a bowl of cooked meat that had a delicious aroma to it. It looked a bit like monkey meat. Quadu felt a bit uneasy and informed us that it was possible that the meat was human flesh. Yeah, eat it. We did not want to offend the natives, so ate from the bowl. This night, the villagers held a ritual ceremony. They offered us a redundant bit. I got a splendid night's rest. The next morning was bright and sunny, a perfect day for new adventures. While we still felt welcome, we could not we could tell the villagers villagers had become disturbed by our presence. Minus two. Once more, because we like that. I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. The natives were very hospitable and we sat by the campfire, sharing stories long into the night. I slept in great comfort and safety. The next morning I woke to face gathered natives. It seems my bedraggled morning appearance intrigued them. It was obvious that we had stressed the hospitality of the villagers too much. That's fine. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, we're being followed now. Ugh, dirty natives. Uh, Quadu stayed behind for a while as we had more business as he had more business to attend to with the villagers. However, he caught up with the trek that very day. The villagers stared at me as I departed. The following days I felt that someone or thing was following me out there. And we're once not overburdened. Bagger. Bagger, bagger, bagger. 
I will. Where are we going? Into there. Wow. Okay, we definitely have to drop something. Uh, we shall drop the rope. No, let's enter the village. Let's trade with them. Have all the rope. Really? I don't even get one standing on that. You just don't like rope, do you? Okay. Uh, torch? There we go. That's what we wanted. They're a little bit happier now. Right, where were we going? We were going to there. 46. Trying to stay away from the polar bear. Dig it. Dig it. After many exhaustive hours and a broken shovel, we excavated an interesting artifact. Or two. Uh, turn page of fire and turn page of waterfall creation. Not ideal. Not ideal, but even so. Not too shabby. Um, so that's the cave we need. It seems silly not to use that system. And with that in mind, maybe it's best if we just went back to the uh, polar station. Well, I say polar station. The, the question marks are around the polar station. Who knows? Might be something magical. Polar bears on us. Or not. Or not. Uh, show me the ruins. Oh. A group of native warriors appeared and confronted us somewhat intimidatingly. They must have been following me since I left their village. Their leader was clearly beside himself about my actions and demanded that I pay tribute to his compensation. I say no. Three, four times, five times over. No, 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 no. That was probably too many. I managed to somehow placate them and make peace. Finally, they allowed me to leave. Great. Great. Well, it would be the furthest one away, wouldn't it? Oh, joy. Well, it's not. It's not completely out of the way, is it? Uh, it means that we don't have to worry again back that way, which is good, I suppose. Uh, we could do with eating the muktuk. Can you get us to this? Yes, you can. Uh, we are running low, though, now. So, some mushrooms in here would be nice. We approached a cave. The entrance seemed to lead deep into the mountain. We needed a torch to explore its secrets. Oh! We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We arrived at a chamber. It exhibited paraphernalia, suggesting it was used as some kind of ceremonial tomb. Within were mummified corpses. Many of the mummies were too old and fragile to be of any intrinsic value. However, however, after a thorough investigation, our search proved fruitful. Oh! Yes, yes, yes. Uh, right, so let's... Right, we're going to head to the shrine, then to the cave, and then get out of here, I think. That is the plan. Really? Is all my chocolate going? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Uh, what to do? Where's the village? I haven't got a lot of luck with the village either. 40 to 40. But they could... Mm. Would they let us stay for free? No, because we've got the translator. I will risk it for a biscuit. Come on, Lady Luck. Come on, Lady Luck. Be on my side. I deserve this. Almost. Hey! Miss me, guys? Did you miss me? Let's rest. Oh, no. They're not happy. Okay. Um, right. You can, you can have the treasure map. Ooh. And waterfall creation. No? Rude. Um, what are the tickets? Are they worth anything? They're not worth a thing to you. You're not interested in mere tickets. No, no, no. What? Hmm. Let's cancel. Can we can we buy the rest of the muktuk off them? It's so expensive. Uh, right, so you can have the treasure map and the tomes. Ugh. Really? Really? Uh, if I give you that, 
Can I have something back? No? No? Ugh. All because I want to go loot a shrine. I need the torch. I need the mummy. The mushroom could be backup sanity. I have given up 60 funds. Let's give him that. We'll take the mushroom. Really? It's like that, is it? Is that the best deal I've got? Yeah, screw it. You're not getting the treasure map for that. No, no. I'm some, I'll have the muck tuck. And we shall leave. I'm done with you. Uh, right, so. Eat the muck tuck. It's going to cost me the majority of that to get up there. Jesus. <laughs> now, I know shrines aren't renowned for having food, but any food there would be fantastic. The shrine did not seem fit with anything we saw in the ice before. Dread filled me when we ascended the steps. When the large portal opened, a gust of wind rushed towards me. It smelled salty like the ocean, but old like its most hidden, most ancient depths. You are being childish. The structure was slightly tilted and subsiding, although the ground seemed stable enough to attempt entry. I looked downwards and saw a mass of tendrils reaching up from below. Most were calcified. One was still twitching. I felt it scratch behind my eyeballs, trying to get in desperately. I was not sure what was before me. Was an altar stone or an impact crater of something that crashed here from above? Me neither, son. Me neither. Uh, we'll take it all. This was not a day of hesitation. The treasure was ours for the taking. We grabbed what we could and dashed outside as the ground disappeared behind us. An ever-expanding chasm was forming and we would need to move as fast as our legs could take us. Right, so I am going to mount Mr. Gibbs. I have to mount Mr. Gibbs. And we are definitely going to go do now. So, what to do, what to do, what to do. It's a lot, not a lot to do, really, than, other than just wing it. So, let's go to 40%. Odds are still on our side, technically. Okay, and again. 100% now. Is that it? We've just got no chance. Uh, we're going to have to risk it at some point. So, let's eat the mushrooms. Oh, because no one's injured. Okay, all right, in which case, uh, we'll just have to risk it. We know something's going to happen. Oh, there it is. Tip top. Rylan time. Great. Someone was missing this morning. I counted heads and found Mala Shah sitting in the nearby bushes, absently whispering to himself as she chewed on some meat. It's a he she. She held onto something that looked like a bone. The terror was indescribable as I realised that Kenneth McLaughlin had been murdered and eaten. So, you not only have you eaten the one person with decent attack die you've also eaten the guy who what's this who um had the best carrying capacity out of everyone but at least we can move relatively free now come on i'm done get me through i'm done with this expedition oh look an arctic wolf when we haven't got enough people to shoot and only one dynamite. Please be small. Eight. Right, we're going to roll. We're going to get the eye. We're going to take damage. So that's the only way of killing them all and taking everything. One slot overburden. That's fine, because we're about to heal up. Uh, we'll give it to Mr. Gibbs, because he's done nothing wrong. What? He's superstitious. Mr. Gibbs ate the mushroom with great delight. He started spouting gibberish and danced around. Now, after he was miraculously healed. Nevertheless, the modern Mr. Gibbs had become brought something back from that trance. He was different somehow. You mean he could talk? Because that I just see dollar signs. That's all I'm seeing. And quadru, because you're not a horrible, horrible cannibal. And uh, you are superstitious. Great. Mushrooms are rubbish. And we didn't we didn't even get any sanity off them. Quadru, you are rubbish. What does this say? Santi gained from eating mushrooms. What have I just eaten? Mushrooms. What Santi did I gain? None. And it goes for the green mushroom too. 
Balked, I tell you. Balked. Get me out of here. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. I am done. Oh, here we go. And the game gets the last laugh. What's going on now? This adventure was taking its toll on the animal companions too. At tea time, I heard a guttural howl. Quadu had been bitten and was bleeding from an open torso wound. He was urging me to take the appropriate measures against the animal responsible. It was obvious Mr. Gibbs was the culprit as he was nervously looking around the environment as if for an attacker. I could see the blood dripping from his muzzle. Oh, Mr. Gibbs, what happened to you, man? What happened to you? What happened to that little tortoise I raised from a baby, from its shell? I pulled the, the bit of shell off your head like they did in... in Jurassic World, I think it was, or Jurassic Park, one of the Jurassic films. I pulled that little bit of shell off your head, helped you emerge, brought you into this world, and you attack Quadu. Now, fair enough, fair enough, he is a little bit weird. He's a little bit weird and bleeding, so you probably smell the blood, but that's just not the way to play the game, Mr. Gibbs. Not when we're right by the pyramid either. We were there. Within minutes, you were, we would have as many palm tree leaves as you would want to munch on. But no, you just had to go and take a chunk out of my shaman. Not good, Mr. Gibbs, not good. I refused to victimise the animal, which upset Quadu beyond a civilised measure. You would need a while to accept my stance. That's fine, you've got all the way home to forgive me. The Golden Pyramid loomed above one and all. Thank the Maker! However, a gate blocked the entrance. A small opening suggested that we required an artefact to open the gate. We do have said artifact. After such an endeavour, tremendous relief overcame me. I knew that this name, Charles Darwin, would be written about long after I departed this life. Well, that was uh, a happy thing to finish on, wasn't it? After I'm dead and gone of this world no more, you shall remember me. Well, we're third. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. But we got back. I suppose there was a chance there of us not getting back. Men and women working together. Where? Seriously, I thought this was, it was, this was a man, wasn't it? I have no idea. For Queen and Country, we've got Navigator, increases the game compass accuracy when uncovering fields. We have Black Market and we have Fresh Air Fanatic. I think we will go for Black Market. Compass accuracy is okay, but I do like to try and explore as much of the map as possible. And I generally come across the pyramid. Worst case scenario. And it's not really going to help much towards the last few expeditions anyway, because they'll be... Uh, the uh, shiny light things in the air that we have to find. I forget the name. You know what I mean. If you've watched these, you know what I mean. So uh, we'll go for Black Market. Hello. Hello. Rolled straight ahead again. In fact, he's quite, quite far ahead. Oh, Mr. Burton did not have a good one. And we have just snuck ahead. Wow. Well, you can have the mummy. Uh, we shall... 100 ahead. Mm, I've got a few jewels. I will... What's it worth? 40? I'll, I'll gift that just to make sure we stay ahead. I'm going to keep all of these. Sell, sell, and sell. Nice! Oh! Oh! And as it stands, we can go back to the Arctic in the next episode. The Sorrowful Arctic. With three ice stations, three shrines, and a portal. Nice. It was either that or we go to the Merciless Desert or the Rich Jungle. But I'm sure you agree, we're here for the snow. We're here for the ice. We're here for the cold. So that's where we will go next time around. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.